You are listening to the Hello Sport Podcast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you woeing what I think you're woeing? Oh, bro, I'm woeing what you're thinking I'm woeing about, dude. We just woeing straight Refs, out the gates. Dude, there's no Sometimes welcome. you got to woe. Dude. You got to so, convey the severity of a situation by woeing appropriately. Sometimes a man or woman must woe, and the time is nigh for a good woeing because Fuck. you need to get the state needs to get a woe off its chest, yeah, so that we can return to eyes on the prize stuff. Yeah, yeah, return to normal. You know, we're focused. You know, tunnel vision sort of shit. But right now, it's a bit. Just take a moment to woe. Acknowledge what is going on here. There's no point in ignoring the elephant in the room, Tom. There's no point ignoring it because the elephant's here. And he's watching us. Yeah. If you want to go, you got to woe. And right now, trell out. Whoa! <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! Now, it's just, it, it, it needed it. it. No, it did need it. I understand. No, I know. It was funny. I, and listen, I don't. But I had to. It. it is what it is. It is what it is. Dad does what dad does. Well, I'm not a dad. No. So. But you know what I mean? I'm much, <laughs> Evie might be in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she's got the earmuffs yeah, on. Yeah, it's okay. uh, uh, listen, trails out. Trails out. Monday Steve. morning. Yeah. Uh, two sleeps away from the biggest. Ga- they're all the biggest game of your well, life. The next Origin's the biggest game in the history of the Origin. Exactly in the history of mankind. Uh, that's two hundred thousand years plus of Homo sapiens well, doing fuck, their thing. Don't it? it could go back further. We don't know what sort of asteroidal impacts may have wiped out previous civilizations. You know what I mean. Well, I mean, we got, we got, listen, we're going off the fossil record okay, here, so let's not get carried away. Let's not get carried away. Let's just go off the fossil record. <laughs> biggest rattled. game in the history of man, and we've lost our... One of the biggest men in the history of man. Listen, I'm going to go out and say it. We, we may have lost the number one weapon in the duffel. Because Luttrell... I, I, I think it is. It's, th- it's him and Payne. Him and Payne. But it's just, it was the mismatch between Latrell and Valentine Holmes who would have made to be look so beater. I'd picked it. It was the end of Valentine Holmes's origin career. That's how bad it was going to get. People think that Morgan Harper, Shark Park, circa 2022 was bad. Mm. This would have been biblical. Yeah. They would have written books about this. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like thousands of years from now... Latrell Mitchell, that someone would have played Latrell Mitchell in a in a Thor uh, in a sorry in a Troy Troy esque can you reenactment? Can, what's that? What's that? Uh, that meme that's going around and it's like that superhero character from the boys where he's like <laughs> really relieved. Yeah. Can you just find that yeah. and make it as we're doing the show and it's just Valentine Holmes finding out that <laughs> Latrell's not playing. Yep, that's nice because that. Motherfucker would be breathing one of the great sighs of relief. He'd be giddy. Yeah, yeah fine. That yeah, that, that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, yeah, please yeah. get that. Please yeah. get that going. I always want that to go up immediately. That's all you're working on for the time. That's babe. all you're working on right now, Dave. You don't need to do anything else. Right. Just a quick. I don't know if we can peek behind the curtain here in a business sense, but Dave's just gone full time. He's gone full time. So well done, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. He was told on Thursday night. Thursday night, yep. I'm We'd had a couple on board. Remember. We lifted Thank him up you. on our shoulders. We hoisted him. We did. We hoisted him. He's done very well. He's it's been a long uh, slog for Dave. Yep. That's what grind does. But enough about Dave. It's not about Dave. Get it's, to make it that It's move. literally... It's, it's got it's, nothing to do with Dave. This has got nothing to do with Dave. No, 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 no. Let's return... Dave just got sucked. ...to the issue at hand. Trell out. Trell Stephen mid. Crichton in. Now, listen. Can I say something quickly, Edward? Can I quickly say something? A little bit of my heart goes out to Campbell, Graham. Who was like, I got a sore chest. I can't fucking train for it. He's like, well, kick rocks, loser. Well, he did, respectfully, he didn't, he didn't play on the weekend either. No, I know. So I think it would have been. But this guy was fucking there. He was in, and then it was Turbo comes out the game of his I fucking. Know. Well, it was game of the season, not game of his life. Just goes nuts. Sorry, you're not in. And then Campbell Graham's like, fuck. Well, I'm not going to sit around here because as if, as if there's a centre going to drop out. Bang, his teammate out. Calf. Stephen Crichton in. Now Campbell Graham sitting there. They're like both, a well, now they're both ass. now they're both sitting there together. Yeah, shagless. Tough. Essentially, tough, really tough. Listen, I obviously say, Campbell Graham's had he's had one of the seasons of his life. Yeah. If, well, the season of his life. Let's be let's be honest about that. He should be there if Ladrell's out. Ladrell being out is devastating. It's it's massive. it's absolutely devastating. There's no other way 
I can't sugarcoat this. No. I can't sugarcoat how devastated I am. We know the man's origin record. It's absolutely impeccable. Mm. Never lost a series. Val Holmes, quivering, shaking in his boots. Yep. Was about to be taken to pound town, quite yeah, literally. Yep. Now, Stephen Crichton's been there. That gives me some sort of relief. And you know why I actually don't... Like, Stephen Crichton hasn't blown anyone's dicks off at origin yet, but... He knows what to expect now. He's not coming in fresh and like, oh, what's going on? He's, he's also, not coming in wide-eyed. He's a three-time grand finalist, two-time premiership winner, back-to-back. He basically drags Samoa to a World Cup final. Like, the man is elite. He's a great player. And when when he's on, he's on. Now, does he partner up with... Uh, will he partner up with... Um, I wonder if they'll switch it around so it's like him and Toto on the same side and then Turbo will flip to... Because well, Turbo can play both sides. Well, Turbo could literally do whatever the fuck he wants, right? I think, so. I think that's exactly what you do. Because they know each other's bodies. Mm. Interesting. But... Well, so hang on. Will it'll Crichton will be on the right with Toto on the right. Because he plays right at club. Yes, but again, they both play both and sides. And Fox plays left. So Fox will be on the left. No, Toto. but I th- no, I actually think they're switched for origin. And I don't know why it is, but I well, I, I think you'd switch. Swear well, I, I reckon you'd somewhere. switch him back. Maybe, but if you're training, if you've been training no, the whole Stephen week, Stephen Crichton plays right. Center. I understand this. Listen, I understand, and, this. And, and also I get that like you guys can probably play wherever you want, whatever side of the field. Also, you're would we be shocked if we've got this all wrong? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because honestly, like next man up mentality, Stephen Crichton's still better than Val Holmes and Hammer. So whatever, way better. Yeah. So Way like, better. Whatever. But it's it, the only reason we're devastated as a nation is because the win was guaranteed. With and Luttrell, Luttrell isn't just better than his opposition. He's like generational all-timer status sort of shit. So it's like yeah. he was going and he's, he's, he's violent and he's brutal and yes. he's aggressive and he's fucking terrifying. Exactly. And, and so he was, not just, he was not just providing he instills a, fear. I'm better than this guy. It's like, I am better than everyone. He instills fear. Yeah. Strikes fear into the heart of his opposition. That's right. That's right. And with that gone, it now changes things. It changes things dramatically. It, it means, A, Tom, I go into the game far more nervous mm. than I otherwise would have been. The game that we will be attending with Ben Menenti. Thank you very much. Shout out to Ben Menenti. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. And obviously he's repaying us, which is nice, mm. of Ben. Looking forward to that, by the way. Yep. Uh, we'll be down there, bra, about 2 uh, o'clock in the other. Yeah. Some other. Mm. Mm. So you get ready, because we'll we'll be ready. Oh, we'll be ready. Don't worry about that. We're ready. But let's just reflect on the injury. So calf injury out for how long? One to two, I think. One to two weeks. So he so he'll be back. He will. He will be back. What's happened? Training and Stra- a strain at, at training. Yeah, a strain at training. That was a test. You shouldn't have been answering it. You should be making that meme. Now, I am. I'm just I'm <laughs> well able to do two things at once. I'm pretty good at that. Because be- you know, Payne Haas limped off. Yeah, fuck. Then he was seen the next day running, like, no pain at all. Pun not intended. <laughs> or intended. Well. Nah, not. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Yeah, and he was running the next day, and it was like, you wouldn't even fucking know. But listen, hey, calf muscles of the state, chill the fuck out for a second, hey? Let's relax. Jake Tr- Jake Trebojevic, calf. What's going on with the calves at the moment? Can I throw a conspiracy theory out there? Yeah, of course you can. Do you need to put the tin foil on? Let's put them on, Tom. You know what? I think that I've Monday, got a little Monday morning Monday conspiracy. Morning. Sure, I can do that. Now, this has nothing to do with the playing group. And this has nothing to do with the coaching. Staff. Are you talking about calves generally here, or are you? I'm talking about state calves, state calves, state based calves, state based calves, New South Wales calves. Okay, this has nothing to do with the playing group. Yep. Although unfortunately they are affected, it has nothing to do with the coaching staff. Although unfortunately they are also affected, but the. The business side of the New South Wales Blues, I'm getting fucking sick of them. And I'm concerned that this whole navy blue jersey bullshit they're running around with may have cursed the calves of the state, or at least some of them. Now, I don't think that that necessarily means it doesn't manifest in a loss, but I think that there is potentially a curse of foot when you think of calves. First and foremost, I'm alarmed that that's now out there in in the in the the ether. It's already out there, dude. Okay, okay, mate, and maybe that's true. The NRL is like, hey, change your jersey. And they've gone fuck. No, you. I, I understand that. I would like to know what their winning record is. I know they definitely won at Perth no, they've won in, the, in the drawing race. They've won in the jersey, but have they won twice? If it's one and one, it's a different story. If they've won twice, 
I'm sort I'm of, not concerned about the jersey cursing the game yet. You, are you concerned? Basically, what I'm hearing from you, Tom, is a level of concern around the fact that New South Wales, oh, State of Origin, the NRL, powers that be, asked them specifically, can you please wear sky blue? And they said, nah, bro. Can I also? They'd already ordered the jerseys. Yeah, sure. And you know what, Eddie? You know what Origin's not about? Selling the fuck out. And New South Wales do it every fucking year. What about the star and that lame fucking song that we had to endure for three years or whatever it was? We had to write a new we one. We had to write a new one. The Which Wiggles had to write well, a new one. They, we didn't write it. We stole it from the Wiggles, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote it. but <laughs> <laughs> well, how, Where do you reckon the Wiggles got it from? Yeah, exactly. Let's just, where do you reckon the Wiggles got it from? Getting, I'll give you one guess. Yeah. Us. Sorry, you didn't even get a chance to guess. <laughs> they, the state sells out. Like, I am so... No, this, yeah, sorry. I'm so sick... Of this bullshit. Could you ever imagine? So what we're dealing with right now is New South Wales playing in a different shade of blue. Could someone tell me, and I might be wrong, the last time Queensland played in a different shade of maroon? Has it ever happened? I don't think it has. I don't think it has. Not that I've ever seen. What the fuck are we doing? Just play in sky blue. Every child dreams of wearing sky blue. If some of these players in New South Wales play one origin game... Mm. What's that fucking jersey good for? And they go, oh, it's our neutral jersey. Well, that we, implies you've got an away jersey. We don't need a neutral jersey. No, no, jersey. but that, that, you that, fucking that implies there's an away jersey. Heaven forbid there's a pl an away jersey that comes in. Well, oh, yeah. let's sell three jerseys. Yeah, we're going to have one. Enough's white. enough. Stop. It's not about the money. You make enough money. You make so much money. You're drowning in money. We don't need more money. West Money's Pack, good. All over heaps the thing. Of money. Yeah, heaps of money. Money good. Westpac still works on Sky Blue, BTW. Money good. Money great. Just stop. Whoa up. Look at what's happening. No, no, no. You fucking pulled Trell's calf two days before the fucking game. It's hard to ignore. It's hard to ignore. Someone. Mate, as soon as you see that. Jake like, Trebojevic, the heart and soul of the New South Wales Blues. The heart and soul. Let's be honest. Soul. Heart and soul. And I think we can all agree with me when I say we lost the series last year because of his omission in game one. That is a fact. If you put a gun to a to the head of a of a of one Frederick Fitler and said, "Frederick, did we lose last year because of your decision to drop Jake Trebojevic?" He would say, "Yes, yeah, one hundred percent." Now listen. So to him me. losing him losing his him not being able to play because of a calf based issue is one thing. Yeah. You throw in another calf based issue in Latrell, and now you start thinking curses. And then you throw in you throw in a pain Haas potentially had a calf injury, but obviously pain probably the closest thing we have to a superhuman in rugby league, has kind of just gone, you, know, you hear people be like, I played a full career without my ACLs. And you're like, how the fuck did that work? And you're like, Some people are just different. Pain, potentially that sort of a guy. Now, I don't want it to sound like we're taking a turn to negative town. What you must realise, though, is that when you come into work on a Monday, ready to fucking get into the trenches, grind hard yakka stuff, and you hear that Latrell Mitchell, Trell Mitt, is out, with a calf muscle injury, and then you're also reading that the NRL is going, hey, New South Wales, can you please not wear those stupid fucking navy blue jumpers, please? It's, and they just go, fuck you, jam it, we're going to wear them. You're like, Whoa, it's hard, what's going it's on? It's hard not to ignore. It's hard not to ignore. Let's not also forget about the fact that the informed centre in the game, Campbell Graham, ruled out with a sternum in injury. So we've got injuries abound. I'm going to take this no, off. No, I think we can take it off now. Because I want to get serious. And I just want to boy the state for a moment, if you don't mind, Tom. All we're doing is reacting to really bad news that we've been told. In right? real time. In real time. What you're and getting here is raw, real, and raw. Yeah, this is live. This raw, is a, real, and raw. Although it may be pre-recorded, punters and dribblers, we, we don't stop. We just get in and we rip and then we cut it up and we send the it. Only the only time we really dribbler. stop is for poo-poos and wee-wees. Which are, which are frequent, yeah. sure. But we're pretty much off the cuff. We are off the no, cuff. We're off and we're the cuff. Live. We're all and we're reacting to what we're seeing. And what we're seeing is good, honest, hardworking Australian, New South Wales specifically, men going down on the eve of the biggest game of their lives. And we're looking for scapegoats. And that's fucking right there. And I'm going to point the finger at it because it's happened before and it's happening again. And I can't ignore that simple truth. We've been fucked before by the corporate dollar. And sometimes Tom and I love it. Sometimes yeah. I'll bend over and I'll go, have your way with me, sir. 
give it to me, give it to me honest, bear back me, no lube. Yeah. However, the, when it comes to state of origin, it's got, it's not about the corporate dollar. It's about glory. It's about, yeah. it's about dubs. And we've also been fucked by jerseys before. You and I once bitten twice shy <laughs> with jerseys, and we've been fucked too many times. We have. And I'm just starting to get the maybe it's PTSD. Oh, no, you listen, know what I mean? got the ick. I'm triggered. Maybe it's a trigger warning. Yeah. Hey, trigger warning. If you have been fucked by the jerseys before, then, I mean, it's too late for the trigger warnings. I've already sort of spoken about to it. Use but like, the, you might to, use, to use a favorite word of millennial women, I've got the year. It's as simple as that. Millennial men too, actually. But mainly millennial. But they love it. Mm. They love that word. And you, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. But also, I tell you what, Don't you know what word. else is a favorite word of the millennial these days? Gaslighting. And we've been getting gaslit to shit by New South Wales business side where they go and, and even I'll just say the gaslit, business side gaslit is the, is the most incorrectly used word yes of all in time the, in the English language but I'll tell you why it's correct now because I do know what it means I only found out what it meant really recently and I'd never said it because I was like what the fuck are we talking about but the higher ups at New South Wales saying that it's been one of the most popular jerseys of the previous seasons. And then every single poll that's ever been done in the last fucking week about these jerseys has been overwhelming in like, no, no, it's not. It was like 67% of people were like, fucking hate it. 25% of them were like, uh, I couldn't give a shit. And then the rest were like, I like it. And it was like 7%. Maths, obviously do your own math. But like, no, no, Matt, it's, 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 this is, this is, that's very, this you're is, telling me everyone likes it when no one likes it. Very similar to Big Bicky when Arnott's tried to hoodwink the punter and the dribbler and tell them that we all voted for that baked in flavour. Bullshit. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. And we voted with our hands and our feet, baby. And our mouths. And our mouths, <laughs> more importantly. And we stopped buying them. And you had to overturn it, and people were shot and burn at the stake mm. as a. Consequence. Consequence. People at New South Wales, at Rugby League New South Wales, whatever the fuck they're called, New South Wales RL, need to, there needs to be a law put in place. A law from the higher ups going. It's sky blue, you fucking corporate dollary do hungry fucks. And Put it this that's way. It. Put it this way. If we'd sold dark navy state based jumpers with light blue writing, that would have sold like shit. Yeah. But we wouldn't Why do Why do you that. think that when we were celebrating state governments, <laughs> we didn't sell navy blue state based jumpers? Riddle me that. Why do you think that when we were selling Queensland state based state government based jumpers we didn't sell them as like a washed out maroney white color riddle me that riddle me that now let's Come. Woosa. just a little woosa. Ooh, tell you what you gotta do as well dude you gotta do a it's called a lion's breath shout so out to do, bad boys too yeah, so you go. You got to go deep in, right? So you yep. have a deep inhale, and then when you exhale, you've got to basically like make a noise. They do this in yoga a lot. So breathe in for four. <sighs> Putters and dribblers, we are brought to you as always by our good friends at Ned's, the number one betting platform on planet Earth. In our objective, humble opinion. But we now, are. We're correct. We are correct. We are always correct. Bit of an origin special. Oh, a spash. Bit yeah. of an Origin spash for you. Special. Place a head-to-head -head bet on Origin Game 1, and if your team is up by six-plus points at halftime, you win. It's also first staked up to 250 bucks, That's which is nice. pretty good. This isn't like some 10 buck, 20 buck, pissy little offer. 250 stake For six points or more. <laughs> Thanks for coming. This is good stuff. Single bets only, punters and dribblers. No same games, no multis. T's and C's apply, available on the website. But Ned's going the huge lift for the punter and the dribbler this origin. Huge lift. Now, also, if you want to join our very special private uh, punting group on the Ned's app, it's called About Even, secret passcode, dribbler. It's going to get you in. Come in. Come in and have a chin wag. Yeah. It's one of the greatest groups ever assembled by, by man. Yep. A lot of dribbling oh, there, a lot of yarn, a lot of bets, a lot of fun. Come join us. Bet even, groups. Origin special bets. Neds, come join us. Manly. You win some, you lose more. For free and confidential support, call the number on screen or visit the website. Now, listen, it's not all doom and gloom, Eddie. And obviously, it's in fact, it's not doom and gloom at all. We had a goose fraba. We fucking, we, we massaged the earlobes. We did a lion's breath. We woosard. We woosard, but... What 
the reality is, right, is we lose a trell. We bring in a Stephen Crichton. We said he's going to be better for the run before. He's also won two comps at Al at Al. Just another Penrith player. <laughs> we still have a rip roaring and horny as hell Tommy Turbo, who's better than every single player on the other side of the field. So, sure, we lose a trell, but we've still got Tommy. In years gone by, where we've had a tough series, is when we've had either we've had no trell and no Tommy. Well, we've had we've had um, centers that are a little green around. Well, well, they're, just wet, or they're just not Trell or Tommy. They're just not Trell or Tommy. No, know? exactly. Tom, listen, we all know what Tommy did two weeks ago. He dominated and he reminded the world who he is. And I think some people forgot who I he I think that he's going to go to another level with Latrell out. I think he's going to feel an obligation to the state to go out there and rip new assholes apart. Mm. That's my prediction. Yep. I still predict a bloodbath, punters and dribblers. I think it'll be low scoring, but it'll be a bloodbath in the game one setting. Yep. I think I think you can probably lean into you know twenty four six something like that. It'll be unders. We know that. But it's still thirteen plus. But still thirteen plus. Obviously, even twenty to six gets the job done. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. So I'm not worried. No, I'm not worried either. It's disappointing. It's not, just it's disapp- disappointing for the young New South Wales boys and girls. So who, who wanted, just who just wanted to see their hero play? Just wanted to see their hero play. Obviously, Crichton's a hero to some, but Latrell a hero to many. That's the difference. Yeah. Well, listen, it's not that Crichton's not a hero, but Luttrell, Luttrell the hero. Luttrell is, is a, superhero. a superstar. Yeah. Arguably the superstar of the, of the game right now. So I don't think I need to remind people of his status. Mm. If I'm a Queenslander, I'm feeling better about the situation this morning, but I don't – I'll remind you, it's not a good place to be because if you're starting to get confident, that's when we, that's when we put real hurting on you. Yep. A real hurt. Yeah. Fred, he would, have, he would have predicted this. Not predicted. He prepared. would have had contingencies for it. He would have prepared for it. Now that that's out of my system, I can go back to business as usual. And business as usual is this, punters and dribblers. We've got a better side with better players who are better. in the prime of their lives, Payne Haas and Nathan Cleary specifically, in the primes of their life. Who's going to be able to handle Payne Haas on Wednesday night? Do you know what the answer is? No one. No one. If he goes out there and goes, Oi, Paddy Garrigan, Oi, Flegler, get that up, yeah. Game over. Game over. Yeah. They'll be scared. Watch him go off, crying. Yeah. yeah. Pathetic. Nathan Cleary gotten better and better and better, like a fine wine. A 25 now, 26 now, Tom. I mean, he's almost at the peak of his powers. Not quite, but he's approaching the peak. Yeah. He's going to control that game, but He's not peaking yet, but he's coming up. Oh, he's come, which is the best time. It actually is the best time. You know, because, you know, whether like, it's coming up either the old-fashioned way or coming up through fame, you know, yeah. people say that that's the, the come best. Up's the the, the, the come-up's the best. Because the peak, yeah. you've got nowhere else to go. Exactly. So he's coming up. And so he's loving his rugby league right he's now. He's loving it. Uh, you so you're playing what? coming up footy. Oh, jeez. Coming up footy. You don't want to pay. You don't want to pay come down footy. <sighs> We've seen that. I've seen that. There's a couple of boys in that in that Queensland side birds playing come down footy. Sort of, yeah, you know, yeah, six a.m. Morning birds, sun's rising, sun through the through the curtains. Maybe no. you've got some block out blinds rocking, and someone opens them, and your your you're, eyes. Yeah, well, you, see well, you're like a vampire burned. who sees like. You don't want to play come down footy. No, Cleary's playing come up footy though. Yeah. So, don't worry about that. Tom and I will be there. Chat to Ben and Benenti. Um, I'm excited, Tom, to get down to the city of churches. Don't know what that means. Obviously, there's churches in it, but to define your city by that. Seems well, I've odd. been through it, and it's not like an overwhelming amount of churches. Maybe I wasn't in the right area, but like, dude, it's I not. listen. If you're called the city of churches, I want to. I want a church on every street. I want to be overwhelmed by churches. I want to go. Holy shit! There's people living in churches yeah, here. Yeah, that's all there is. Just churches. That's what I would expect of a city of churches. That's no knock on Adelaide. I heard the tickets aren't selling, but that's... Tickets always sell late. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how vibrant the city is. I, love that. We I actually down... really did enjoy it down there. Sorry yeah, but we went on a Adelaide. Tuesday, so I want to see it pumping. Well, it's going to be a Wednesday. Yeah, but it's Origin. That yeah. was a Tuesday run-of-the-mill day. True. It was a run-of-the-mill Tuesday. Nothing Dude, I doing. think fucking Scope and that'll be and Mace going to be down there. I think Kempy's going to be down there. Although Kempi will... Well, Kempi's not going to have a time. No, he'll be in and out. Oh, he should have delayed his fucking flight. We could have done DMP from down there. Do you even know when he's flying? He's probably flying back after the game. He probably is. 
He's probably would, it, would it shock you if he was getting he'd the land for kick off and yeah. then he'd be like it'd be like fifteen minutes to go, he'd probably chuff off. Yep. Watch the rest of it on his phone, fly back. Let's check that actually. I'd rather do it down there. We won't, but it's the way you know. Oh, we're we've got to do ours. Yeah. Um, Just some info on Adelaide and its relative status as the city of churches. Yeah. Um, it's actually fifth in terms of cities with churches per population. In, oh, sorry, third. Uh, so there's 43 churches per 100,000 people. Hobart is top of the list with 57 churches per 100,000 people. But Adelaide is top in Australia for sex shops relative to population. It's got five, just over five per 100,000 people. Second most is Darwin with just under Darwin. five per 100,000 people. So it's actually technically the city of sex shops. Yeah. More because so the, the city, the city of, of, churches. of churches would actually go to Hobart. Yep. Interesting. That is interesting. Although not surprising. The city of sex shops, there's not much to do, you know. So what do you do? You buy a couple of Well, you of sit on a double ender and you have a good time. With your mate. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. TPJ, Tavita Pangai Jr. Now, I like to hear shit like this, Eddie. I'm just going to... He has, in an effort to get, like, you know, origin ready, he's deleted all web browsers off his phone. He doesn't want to get distracted. Web browsers. Not just your socials. He doesn't even want to have access to the fucking internet. You can't get rid of Safari. I am reporting on the reporting. So I, so I just don't think you can delete it off listen, your phone. Listen, dude. Listen. What I'm hearing. Unless he's running out of Nokia or something. What I'm hearing yep. is that Tavita Panga Jr. has deleted internet out of his life in an ability to stay focused for Origin footy, and I think that is a great sign for the state. In a quest. He needed to do something bold and beautiful, Tom, to erase his past comments. Comments that Freddie Fittler said were made by an immature man. Yeah. An immature boy, really, Mm. when he professed his love for the state of Queensland... But you hear that out of people that are immature and people that don't know what they're talking about. People like Dave Dave Bloom come to mind. Gus Walker. Yeah. People that have turned their... Will Harrigan? Andrew, Andrew Harrigan. He's Andrew come back. Harrigan. Uh, Will's come back. Yeah. That's a triple turncoat. Triple? Well, it's a double. A double. He's come back. No. If you turn to Queensland and then you come back to New South Wales, you're a double turncoat. Once you've changed to Queensland... You can't just come back and it be wiped. The slate be wiped clean. It's not. It's, it's not wiped clean. Well, you're saying it's Andrew. It's actually. It's still no. But I'm saying Andrew goes to Queensland. Oh, we're and talking about Queensland here. No, but we'll still go. For me, you can't go for Queensland and then come back. Sure. I don't allow that. Sure. But, Sorry, Will. So, well, then by that logic, you you can't apply that then to Davida. You would apply that same logic to Davida. Mm, no, I'm not applying to Davida because he's playing. So you can't come... I think, can you come back? I hope you can. If you're a player, you can. Okay. Glad we cleared that up. Because he's playing. Because I understand that they may have confused the punter and the dribbler. But listen, Tavita can be confused and angry because he thought he should have been picked and he wasn't and he said something out of spite. He didn't actually go for Queensland. He said something spite to come mean. You know, if you're fighting with your missus and they'll say something mean to you, or you to, or you to them, and yeah, I didn't mean that. You know what I mean? You say something out of emotion. Happens all the time. Yeah. Happens all the time. And then you walk it back. Sometimes you get angry and you go, fuck, oh, my blood was boiling. Yeah. But, and then as soon as your blood cools down and you go, yeah, right, I was wrong. Yeah. And I'm happy, I'm happy to go down that train of thought for yeah. Tavita. And I whereas can, the fan, whereas, just, uh, whereas the guy who's never been to Queensland literally in their entire life, mm. that's concerning yeah. in the extreme. Dave, I'm looking into your soul as I say this. I now don't know why we gave you a full-time job. No, I know. I'm, I'm, actually, taking, I'm walking that back. Take that back. I'm walking that back. I, part-time Dave. Part-time Dave. I, listen, if Tevita has cleared the internet out of his life, out of his body, out of his soul, obviously social media goes along with it. It shows that he's committed to the cause, and the cause is winning. He needs to go out there and prove it, though, Tom, because internet or not, I need to see a wrecking ball go out there and wreck. I need to see him punch through the line yep. like he's bringing down a brick wall. That's what I want to see. I want to see him go a little bit high, not too high, not carelessly high. A little bit high. A little bit high. I want him to clip chins. Yep. 
You know what I mean? Mm. I want them to, to have a swinging arm that's not swinging too hectically, but it's swinging. Because they probably won't get him, send him off for like a time. You know what I mean? Think about, um, let's let's think about a Paul Gallon swinging arm into Nate Miles before it kicked off. That sort uh, of thing. Punched Just him. a little bit of a jab in the scrum. Yeah. That sort of thing. That's what I'm talking about. I hope the referees don't fucking ruin oh, they, the no, they won't. No, I know, dude, but they've just been bad. But do you know what I mean? They've been bad. Just go pinch high for me. Pinch high for your state. I Not was, too high, though. I will say this, and I'm going to touch wood. There's wood in the chairs. I will touch wood. The refs usually play play a straight bat in origin, which is the the whistle doesn't come out really. Which fucking annoys me though, because I really appreciate it. But then I'm like, you watch a game like Manly v the Knights or something like yesterday, and you see a referee that's one of the great pussies all time. Don't go down, don't go down that path because you won't come out of that rabbit hole. It doesn't make any fucking no, sense. No, it doesn't. Why why you don't ref like they do in grand finals and origins? all the time is completely and utterly beyond me. That, now, back to DeVita. Go in there a little bit high, not too high. Go in there with a swinging arm that's not too over the top. Not too swinging. Go over there with little, cute, cute little jabs. Little, face stuff. Bit little of face, face stuff. stuff little neck stuff, rib stuff, yeah. nut stuff if you need but to. But also, like, even just some flying out of the line, not to fuck your defensive line, make sure it's a good decision, and put an illegal Olakawatu style Belter, snap some guy in half. What, what, what do you need to see over and under from Tavita in terms of taking of souls? What I need your, at least one, one, one and a half souls. Well, I need at least one soul, at least one soul, one, one and a half. The you know what I mean? I need overs, unders. Half, unders. overs unders. He's overs unders. I think he's one, one, one and, and a half, half souls. souls. So one individual snapping, yes. soul taking, and then yep. one maybe that is. But in unison with another player, so him and Payne take yeah, the soul. Yeah, together. that'd be that'd be that'd be that'd shared be with you and the bookie. But if he yeah. was to go out there and take two souls, Tom, which I think he's more than capable, he can of, take two souls. Then then you're up. Then we're up. Now I think they're starting him, which I don't hate. Get him in there. Get him early. Just get the energy out. Get him. Sna- get him. Get him going. Get him like get the sniffing the sniffing salts under his nose and get this bull primed. Yeah. And get him flying out of the line early. A pinch high, but not too high. Not too high. And just jam some prick. Just a pinch high. Just a pinch high. Just a just a smidgen high. Yeah. One where the rest look at it and go, oh, but it's all right. So we go all out. Yeah, because but in regular season games there's gonna be a bunch of pussies. But then I also don't I not just not just on the defensive side of the ball, Eddie. I also want him running with intent. Vicious, vicious intent. Can I tell you what I want to see, Tom? Knees up stuff. Knees up mother. I Brown. want your knees. Do you remember that song? I want your knees to be above your chin. Do you remember the schoolyard nursery rhyme? Knees up, Mother Brown. <laughs> knees up, Mother Brown. I don't know if I knees do. Up, Sing it knees to up. It. Don't get the breeze up. Knees, knees up, up, Mother, mother Brown. Brown. That's what we need. I've never heard that, and I love it. Yeah. Knees up. Knees up. Don't get the breeze up. Knees, knees up, up, Mother Brown. Brown. I need I need Tavita to go full Mother Brown yeah. when he's running at this line yeah. because I don't see we don't see enough knees up anymore. We don't get your knees up. Knees Take up, Mother some Brown. prick's head off who's knees going up, low. Mother Brown, knees up, knees up. Don't get the breeze up. Knees, knees up, up, Mother, Mother Brown. Brown. You wanna you wanna see what are the other thing I want if I can fucking get that out of me eventually is I want to see elbows up too. Yeah, I want to see knees up and elbows up. Yeah, bumper bars. Mother Brown and Father Brown, baby. Yeah, get boom. Get elbows up, Father Brown. Father Brown has them up. Boom. Stick them up, brah. Stick them up. That's Father Brown. Mother Brown's knees up and yeah. just boom. Yeah. Go full Brown family at that defensive line, yeah. brah. That's what I want to see. That's good, honest rugby league right there. That's what I need from Tavita. And then I, I need, again, I'll say it again. I need Payne Haas going, oi, Paddy Carrigan, oi, Tommy Flegler. He'll Get do that it. up, yeah. He'll do it. Can I ask a question, Eddie, of you? Yep. And it's a political question, because obviously we've got state-based jumpers and all that sort of shit. Mm. Did you see... Well, it's not, I'm sure you didn't see it, but you might have seen it, but they sort of do it every year, and there's kind of nothing lamer than when politicians yeah, I saw it. have Bets. the fucking bet, the jersey bet. It's like, it's can always- you guys just fuck off? Just shut up. Just shut up and piss off. No one cares. I tell you what would be funny, Tom. I tell, you, I tell you what I could buy into legitimately is if the bet changed and it was something yes. a bit more fun. Dude, you're going to dye your single- pubes blue. I'd like to see Anastasia Palaszczuk with blue hair and blue pubes. Or you got to run. You got to run. You got to run down Caxton Street with a yeah. with a sock on your. Chris cock. Minns has got to like shave his balls 
in the Caxton main bar. You, you, or, you know, if New South Wales, when you've got to dip your testes into the mouth of a Queenslander, yes. stuff like that, yeah, a bit exactly. of fun. You've got to Teabag you know, the state, literally. To, if, if, or teabag whoever the listen, Premier is. That's still Anastasia Palaszczuk. Yes, yeah. it Imagine is. Imagine men's dipping his sack into a mouth. <laughs> That'd be a bit of fun. Or him, Instead, having, a, or him having a, like, you know, eat her ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, after a dump. Like, <laughs> we could have a bit of fun with this. Instead of the same old bullshit, I'll wear the jersey and put the flag on the bridge or the flag over the fucking river. I don't know what they do in Brisbane. Like, have a bit of fun with it. <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that went off the rails. <laughs> I don't think so. When we talk rugby league, obviously we're doing it for our good friends at KO who, you know, have been long-term supporters of this show. Um, Who've loved us and we love them. And we love them. But we only love them because, like, I'm going to be honest, we love them because they get every single game of rugby league. That's what it is. Live and ad-free. Like, every single game. If they didn't have every single game live and ad-free during play, like, if they didn't have five games that a competitor didn't have, you know, then, you know what, probably wouldn't love them. Every single game. Yeah. Like, if you think you can live in a world where you only get three games of rugby league every week, go back to the 50s, bro. Yeah. Go back to the 50s and and be a loser. Stone Age shit. I don't want to live in the Stone Ages, mate. Pre-computer, pre-internet, pre-car. Yeah. Do you want to go around and get on? You want to go to England this year? Pre penicillin? Yeah. What? Pre penicillin? Is that what you want? Get an infection, cut your hand. Now you're dead. Yeah. Mate. You want, oh, I want to go to Europe this summer. Right. I get on a boat for six months. Is that the world you want to live in? Is that the world you want to live in? Oh, I like watching replays of my rugby league every Sunday night before bed. Loser. Get KO all eight games. Make smart decisions. Now, I saw this video the other day on the Dragon social media. And it was. Um, it was Jack DeBellin. He was so that he was giving his jersey to a girl after the game who was fucking in tears, like you know, mm. stoked. Um, and he's signing it, and she's there with her mum, who's kind of crying as well because can see that her daughter's so excited. Mm-hmm. Watch this and freak, just come in and blow his way into this like nice moment for what is so ridiculous. And DeBellin's reaction is just like, okay, bro, fuck off. Just watch it. And then we can talk about it. I just saw it. I was like, this guy is like, some people do. It's not working, Dave. Oh, it's not? No. no. All right. Get some vol on it. Watch this fuckwit come in. The mum's filming it. Oh, the, that's nice. This is nice. This is nice. For the big mullo. Look at this. I was shocked. I thought it was a relative initially. Mum's filming it, loving it. Look at this. This is nice. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look at him. Get out of the way. Sorry. Can I come in here? Oh, my God. What's Wait. he doing? Look at him. Look at him standing there. Oh, my. Get out of the Oi. way, Oi, can bro. Can you sign me? Jack's just like, fuck oh. off. Look oh. At him. oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. And then... <laughs> Dude, like, what a fucking freak show. What a freak show. God, pick your moment, bruh. You just can tell that guy is like... Pick your moment. Come and sign my chest. Like... In his defense, he wouldn't have known they were crying. Bro, he's pushed in... It doesn't matter. The tears don't matter. And they, they do. No, they do... They they do, but they don't. If he, if he knew that they were crying, it, he he's he, there is a mother and a daughter standing next to each other, about to get a jersey from Jack DeBellin, and he walks straight in, bumps the mum out of the way, knocks the girl back a little bit, and he's like, "Oi, Jack, <laughs> Oi, Jack, I'm like fucking twelve years older than you. Can That's you sign league. my torso? That's rugby league. That right is there. rugby. And league. he's got a giant, he's got a giant dragon on him. Is that what that is? Is he's that going, a dragon on there? Yeah, it's oh, a dragon. God. Sign my dragon. Sign my dragon. As as dribbly as he gets. Oh, that's dribbly. It's DMC behaviour. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a huge dragon piece here. Like, that was psycho behaviour. And I went to read the comments. I'm like, is no one else commenting on that freak show just sliding in on there? Oh, they didn't notice. I don't know. I didn't see any, but I was just like, that is 
wild behavior. Would you put? Would you put him up? I don't think you put him up. That guy would probably fuck. Look, see. Shot. Oh, it is a dragon. It's a dragon. And That's he's just standing there with his shirt up <laughs> and his dude. nipple out and shit. Yeah, yeah. Put your nipple away, yeah, mate. Put your nipple is away. he got what's he is he got dragon's boxer shorts on? They do look like it, and they're very high, or his pants are low. I'm gonna say this right now. And I'm gonna say it so it's on the public record. Boxer shorts underneath jeans is not play on. Well, it's just not play on at all. Boxer shorts. Boxer shorts. A bedtime. If you a leave, bedtime if you leave this house in boxer shorts, you need to have a good, honest look at yourself in the mirror. Because it's not all. It's not. I'll all. say this: if you're wearing boxer shorts between the ages of like ten and thirteen, fourteen, I get it. You just discovered them and you think it's cool. Or maybe that was a period in our lives when it was cool. But if you're like wearing boxer shorts into a shout to John Ingate who wore, I believe this is the story, Cartman of South Park. He wore Cartman board shorts, boxer shorts rather, to bed, and then he'd wear them to school. Wouldn't wash them and would wear them for months at a time. True story. Shout, shout out to, out to Sebo, and this is an old story from uh, previous episodes, but was still wearing silk boxes in year twelve, and we all had to go to, to school. We had to go to chapel. In the morning, and you know what it's like as a bloke, you wake up in the morning, wood, and he tucked his bone dog up into his belt. Yeah, well, that's what you have to do. But tucked his shirt behind the boner. Oh, no. So that's... the silk lips, silk boxes with lips on it, just like the rounded top of the knob just poking out of the top of his pants as he walked around. Sebo. Yeah. That's not how you do it, man. Dude, it was so good. And I was just like, uh, Sebo? You might want to consult the old uh, silk boxer bonus situation you've got <laughs> on there, buddy. Sticking proudly out the top of your dax. Shout out to Sebo. Shout out to Sebo. But the point of underwear, at least in the world that I live, is to support the junk. So you can carry, almost carry it around. Yeah. It's like a little sack for your sack. Ooh, like a push-up bra for your ball sack. Exactly. And you carry it around. Promote the penis. Exactly. You carry it around and you keep it nice and safe and it doesn't hang and annoy. Mm. Boxer shorts do nothing in that regard. No, they don't. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. They just whatsoever. everything just to hang, which I get. Like, I understand a state of just, like, hanging is, is, is nice. But not when you're getting around. Yeah, everything's just... Banging into it's, each there's other. There's almost there's too, there's too much fabric down yeah. there as well. There's too much going on. Way too much fabric. Way too much fabric. It's like you know when you put you got a long sleeve top on and you put it into like a long sleeve another long sleeve thing. If you aren't holding onto the sleeves, it just becomes a well, fabric you must. nightmare. You must. Otherwise, it gets stuck up here. I mean, especially if you're wearing jeans, which I think that man was. It that's just a, you've got a recipe for disaster. I'm yeah. not shocked that he pushed in there. No, the I'm man not was shocked. wearing boxer shorts yeah. to the footy. Complete utter and an utter mess. Like, yeah, they look like dragons colours, but get dragons undies if you're that much of a fucking Fan. dick rider. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, we move on. Shout out to the dragons. Shout out to the dragons. Tom, what do you make? Yeah, old mate. What yeah. do you make of the Raiders resting Croker? So he can play his three hundred at home. They're playing the Tigers this week, is that right? No, I think the Warriors. Yeah, the Tigers this week. Mm. Tigers this week. You know what? Warriors the Tigers next week. the Tigers actually So Warriors next week at home. Yeah. Right. Listen, the Tigers have only got Appy out, and if Appy gets through that game, I think Appy backs up and plays for the Tigers. It's Friday night. He, well, they, they, you know, what? they often say the closer to the game, the better. I believe because like your body's sort of still in a bit of a. Again, that could be wrong. Would it shock you? But I look. I don't because a lot's it. been made of it. Yeah, I don't care. Like, if you want to do it, sure, do it because it'd be cool. Three hundred games. Um, but there is, I mean, equally, listen, if it was Manly, I'd be like, hey, nah. Like, if he's, if he's our best centre, I'd be like, no, nah, sorry. I know we, we can't lose to the Tigers. But yeah. for someone who doesn't care, I'm like, yeah, I like it. It'd be cool to have Croakers 300th. I'd like to see it because I'm neutral and I don't care. And I've actually always thought about Croaker getting to 300 games because he got so many so early. Mm. I've always sort of like had my eye on this game. And now that it's almost among it, almost here, I think it's nice it will be at home in front of the faithful. They can do that lamb clap and stuff. That'll be cute. Yeah. But uh, horn him. Can yeah. he blow the horn for his 300? He'd have to. Do you horn know. yourself? I don't know. Maybe they don't want him to horn. She had to Roddy's dad who did it. Yeah, Roddy's dad did do it. I don't know. How do you get, how do you get, well, he's old, he used to play. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, he played for him. Oh, there you go. Just a nod to a... Well, a former fucking great. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I, I I think people are getting their knickers in a knot a little bit. Like, Croker wasn't even in the side for half the year. Yeah, but I think he was injured. He's come back from injury. I don't know. I, I think I've got a recollection of him just not being in the side. He wasn't. I think he got picked back in the side, but he was still coming back from injury. And yeah, it was, it was like, a bit of both. He spent last season, he had a few injuries, but then he also wasn't included. He was, like, dropped for a yeah. bit. Yeah, he was dropped, and he was injured, so it was a mixture of the two. But... Since he's come back, the Raiders went on a five-game win streak. Then yeah. they lost to Manly, sorry. Well, obviously they lost to Manly. I don't think that's going to shock anyone. No. Of course, they lost to Manly, who was full strength at the time, yeah. more or less. And just to give an update on Jared Croker, because he has been playing for so long and has been goal-kicking, he's third on the all-time point scorers in the NRL. He's just over 100 points behind Hazamel Masri and about 400 behind Cam Smith. So he's already taken over Joey, 400. Yeah. Probably won't get there. He'll probably get... How old is he, 32? He is... 31? Uh, 32, yeah. 32. Turning 33. So Ooh. he's still like, I mean... He should, the, he should have a... He should, he should probably go past Hazem. Yeah. Yeah, but if I'm the Raiders at this stage, having just lost Jack White, and I'm like, I'm not getting rid of fucking Croker, I'd be paying him less, but you're like, I, you need old heads around. Yeah, you need old wise heads. You don't want him off to the Super League. No, not yet. It's too early. Yeah, he go there when he's like 38. Correct. Correct. But I just wanted to get your thoughts, mate. People yeah, get their knicker in or not. people got their knickers in or not. Like, I, no, you know what? Listen, if I'm a Raiders fan, uh, absolutely not. We need to win. Fuck him. And not him, but like the 300 thing. Like, no. But it's a little bit like delaying a declaration when you really should be declaring because the time's running out of the game just so a bloke can get his 100. Yeah. Why didn't you just like, celebrate his 301st game? At Canberra. You know what you could do? You could do exactly that. 300th game here, celebration, and then we can also celebrate at home your 300 games that you had last week. Yeah. What's the difference? It's Does like it having matter? a. It's like celebrating your birthday party, not on your birthday. I'm pretty sure the game's at Campbelltown too, is it not? Yeah. So it's not that far from Canberra. I mean, it's it's not Canberra. It's as cold, but well, it's not as cold either. Um, it's, it's not. It's not Canberra. It's Canberra. Just head up the Hume, mate. It's like forty minutes from Sydney. Head so up the it's, Hume. It's not Canberra. It's, call it two hours from Canberra. Sure. It's not, not that far. Well, it's not Canberra either. It's like saying, "Oh yeah, my birthday was three days ago," but technically, it's, just, it's not that far from my birthday. It's took my birthday. It's not that far. No, it's not that far. Not the end of the world. I think you probably just play him. I think you just play him. Rocky, Ricky's making out like they've got huge plans. Like, what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Is this some sort of festival you're putting on? This is like a Super Bowl halftime show. What are you doing for the it, great yeah, man? Yeah, it'd want to be pretty fucking hectic if you're delaying his game, like leaving him out of the side. If you, what time's the game, Dave? If they don't have fireworks yeah. and porn and under face, every, yeah, seat, every seat, I'm not here. It's the 6 p.m. Friday game. It'll be dark. Freezing. End of the game, 8 p.m., there must be fireworks. There but has like to be. Like his face painted on the ground. They've also got injuries, dude. Seb, Sebby Chris was injured, wasn't he? Um, yeah, then, Corey Harry and Wirinara. Well, Corey Harry, no, that was terrifying. Hope he's all good. Thought It'd be, it would be nice if everyone rocked up in headgears, the whole crowd wearing headgear. The head whole gear. team should be playing in headgear. Yeah, they should. Everyone should be in a headgear, even the refs. Tobler, could you please look up uh, just right now before I forget it to purchase a Steve Menzies Albion headgear? Thank you. I think they're Albion. Um, but we need to get one of those. Yeah, everyone in headgear would be nice. Maybe get two of those. I mean, I'm sure you want one. I don't, like, I'd want one each. <laughs> It'd be weird if we only got one. That's We'd what have I mean. to share it. Yeah. Anyway, shout out to Croaks. Shout out to Croaks. And again, shout out to Corey Harrower and I. More breaking news. This is reported by Danny Weidler. Blues on alert as Nathan Cleary has an infected tooth. Likely to play, but Nico Hines told to be ready. You can just take them out. You just take them just out. Just pull the fucking tooth out. You I've had many out. a toothache. Now, listen, I tell, you what, I tell you what a toothache does. It makes it hard to rip and tear if you want to have a big night and you've got a throbbing thing in your mouth. Mm. But for a state of origin match, you know what you do? Hey, team dentist, which I'm sure they've got who's probably sponsored by Westpac, just jam me full of some sort of numbing agent and let me get to work. Just rip it out. You rip it out, but then you might need to numb it. Easy. Piece Easy. of piss. Mate, they play with way, a, a, a toothache? Has he had jaw 
mouth-based issues before. Didn't he blow up like a bloody... Well, he does have the lower jaw of a horse. Didn't he look like a st- like he'd been stung by a bee once? Well, no, he's got when equine he was jaw. Footy? He's got equine jaw. That's right. He does suffer. Well, he does have equine It's not jaw. suffer. No. It's not something that... It's like he still is like a, a hot boy, but the lower jaw is from directly from a deceased horse. <laughs> but like, fuck, toothache? Spare me. Spare me. That's just Denny. If he Hammond misses out, up. if he misses out for a toothache, then there's no way he'll miss out with a toothache. No way in but the world. I'm saying, Edward, if he were to miss out for a toothache, then get out. New South Wales hierarchy to blame. If he misses out because of a toothache, you can then say 100 percent category. Uh, uh, uh. What can you say? If he misses out from a toothache, you can 100% categorically make the statement that we are cursed. But he won't, because you just pull the fucking thing out. Now. Now. Is that eating rugby league? I think so. Obviously, Manly lost yesterday. We were under strength. Listen. Under strength? No. Hold on. Hold on. We did lose. And we've, we, you know, we had like three, we were three Trebojevic's and a, and a fucking DCE out, um, which obviously contributed, but we should have won it. We should have won that game because we were still in it. Up to our fucking eyeballs, we were in it. But a couple of things. The referee was bad, objectively. That's not the reason we lost. I'm not blaming the referee for that loss, but objectively he was poor. What I don't understand is... And I'm glad Kalen Ponga is fine. But how does that motherfucker get three separate head knocks and not go off for an HIA once? How does Tolu Kula get sent for 10 for hitting him in the head, sort of, and then he doesn't go off for an HIA? I don't entirely understand that. If you get hit in the head, is it automatically an HIA? Is it not an HIA? Ka- I, I tell you what is also crazy. Just back to the Ponga thing. Like I thought, it, I thought, it, I thought it was. If there was any I'm contact in the he, head, I thought you had to pass a test. I'm glad he is okay. Obviously, he got smacked in the head twice in the first five minutes. You're like, what is this? Is it? Is it awful? God awful tackle technique. Yes. Like he got well. One of them was Saab hit him high, and he didn't. Generally go. speaking, it is. Then the next one, he got a knee in the head from fucking like. Paseca or someone. Yeah, he's tackling techniques rubbish. That's what everyone's saying. The people that know what they're talking about. He just he gets his head in the wrong position. In fairness, he got two tackled high twice yesterday. But like, and again, stoked he's not concussed. Although you, many people thought the week before he got full category one. But like, listen, how does Manly that- Manly was unlucky yesterday. You could sit there and say that two of your three tries were scored off intercepts, but that they were begging to be intercepted, and almost a third. That's what I'd say. Yeah. Absolutely begging to be intercepted. Yeah, they scored six tries to three, but and two of them were intercepted. But like, that's not what that's not what it's that's about. Not what it's about. It's not about that. And the Lachlan Croco was off a ricochet. It's not about that. No, it's not about it's the, the fact, fact that we were three in of our fight. tries were pretty lucky. It's not about that. Well, all three of our tries. It's also not about the fact that in the attacking zone, yep. we had no attack. And it's also not about the fact that like three or four kicks were caught in goal. It's not about that. So, yeah, probably like 12, seven tackle sets we gave away. It's not it's, about that. It's not about the fact that when we were in there 20, Tom, we looked like we were playing fifth grade under 13. It's not about the fact that I reckon I saw potentially a couple of the worst sets of six I've ever seen in my life from an attacking standpoint. I saw complete and utter directionless rugby league yesterday, but that's not the point. That's not the point. We should have won that game. It's not the point. We should have won. We had him on the ropes. Yeah. We had him on the ropes. I'll say this. It would Listen, it was 18 all, and we were in it. Yeah. Up to, the, up to our teeth. Up to our teeth. We were balls deep in victory. Yeah. And the ref robbed us. Yeah, he robbed us. We, um... Obviously, we were talking pre-game about, like, Schuster, you know, this is his moment to stand up. I obviously well listen. It, I'm listen. not just. Oh, I'm not. I oh, look at five by Flynn with the bloody ads on NRL website. How's that? No, work? no, that's retargeting. I bought a gift card for a friend, and he's just trying to peddle his wares again. Go away, Louis. 
Oi, Louis, get off our fucking. Get off me, Louis. Go away. Stop retargeting us, right? I bought the gift card. I shouldn't be what getting that. What else do you want? I shouldn't be getting that ad. I've already bought it, mate. How does he get it, though? Like, does he have to pay the NRL for that? No. I don't, I don't not understand retargeting. No, you don't. Now, I'm not having a crack at Schuster here because. Well, he. He was. No, but uh, he was like running the show, right? He had a great first half. He had a great. He had a good first half. I just don't think it was great. It was good. Our attack never looked good. Like, our attack close to the line was never good. He, had he a got pretty, the intercept. He had, a, he had a pretty good first half. I think the thing that I hope he, it comes from this is, like, he is still – because you see people talking shit about him, and I'm like, I don't think that that's that. It's more about he's a young half still learning. He's only 21. So he's got 22. the skills. Again, he's playing in a seriously undermanned team. So it's all of those things go into the fact that we weren't – the force that we usually are. Mate, he's got the skill to thrill, you know He's got I mean? the skill to thrill. This is, again, a kid learning the trade, and I think he will learn a lot about it. I think he was trying to do too much. You know what I would have done yesterday? I would have Ruben Garrick at the fullback. The fact that they I don't... I don't know why they keep doing this. It doesn't it's pissing make any, me off. It's pissing you off. I'm getting fucking ropeable over here. K.O. Weeks Seabold, needs to spend a bit of time in New South Wales Cup playing fullback. K.O. Weeks is too wet behind the ears. He is defensively all at sea. He not read. He doesn't read the play. He doesn't really. inject himself in the game that much. No, Again, he he's young. This isn't criticism. I, no, it's not. It's I'm merely pointing out that Ko Weeks isn't quite ready for the f- rigors of fullback. You've got Ruben Garrick, who played more than half a season there and last was year, good. And ripped and dead doesn't make any sense to me. And it's like you're not like it's not like you're moving Ruben out of the fucking halves. He's playing on the wing for fuck's sake. Like mm. it doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense to me. But the second half, Tom, although we were in it up to our nuts and should have won, was, from a purist perspective, not the best no. half of rugby league I've ever seen. No, it wasn't. But also, Phoenix Crossland's try was not a try. Uh, Hetherington knocked it on clearly, and the video referee, the bunker, Fucking got it wrong. Again, that isn't why we lost. Nor is it the referee. Nor is it Schuster or Manly. But I would put most of the blame on the referee. Same. I'm looking oh, you know, I'm looking at jam. I'm not gonna blame wingers jamming in either. I I'm not bl- blaming that. I'm not blaming I'm not gonna, lack I'm not, of I'm attacking not blaming, flair. I'm not blaming leaving Greg Marju unmarked on his wing. I'm not blaming that. Three separate occasions. I'm not, I'm not blaming blame that. that. I'm it's not important. Blame, I'm not blaming it. I don't know. Listen, I mean, you could argue that leaving an absolute beast like Greg Marju, who's ex- extremely difficult to tackle, unmarked on, him, on the wing, is genius. I'm not blaming Billy Slater for not picking Kalen Ponga, thus pissing him off and having Ponga rip and tear. I'm not blaming Billy no, for that. I'm not blaming Billy. And I'm not blaming the ref. But if I had to pick someone to blame, then I would... And that's just... If someone had a gun to my head and said, blame someone or you're going to get killed, mm. then I would blame the ref. It was a brave defeat yesterday. It's as simple as that. A brave, a brave defeat in the face of overwhelming adversity in the form of a ref that wouldn't give us the rub of the give us the calls, wouldn't and that's calls. and we're only saying that if it was a gun to our head, blame someone. I'm yes. not blaming the referee. No, I need, I need that to be known. No, I'm not blaming the ref. But if there was a gun literally in my mouth, would it be fair to say I'm manly unlucky? Yes, manly unlucky in love. Yeah, sometimes it's a roll of the dice. Agreed. If Greg was marked, then. You could argue that... He, you score, take his three tries away, yeah, right? And take Phoenix, his three tries. And Phoenix's, Phoenix's wasn't a try. Take that away. So They've scored two tries. Yeah, and we scored three. So yeah. we win. We win that game. I know you saw this, Eddie, but it bears mentioning. Yesterday, on the Buy Round podcast, James Graham's award-winning show, he had the great and powerful Danny Widler on there. Danny W. Danny W. And he asked Danny W about... <laughs> The fact that we've been taking the piss out of him for inserting himself into um, the the camera footage of every interview he's ever done. Mm. Can you get it up? Mm-hmm. Might be worth playing. Yeah, I think so. Because Danny says he liked it and didn't give a shit and all that. And I hope that to be true. I want that to be I true. I want that to be true. He said he'd come on the podcast. He has started following us on Instagram. I feel like, I feel like we're starting to break a bit of bread with Danny Dub. Yeah. Would you go along with that? I would. I'm just trying to get... I don't know. Do, do we think he's telling the... Does he, did, did we piss him off? I hope we didn't piss him off. I'll let you... You listen, punters and dribblers, and you let us know. Hello, sport Play boys. The, the two shots of Danny Wilder. Like, what, 
What are your What are your thoughts when you when you see that reoccurring? Um, it's been pointed out to me by younger folk in the office. They say this: these mob take the piss out of you. Like, I don't care. It's good. Like yeah. the two shot thing, which I'm known for. <laughs> yeah. Um, we got three here. Three. Even. Yeah. As I told you, first of that. all, I told you I'm shy, which you probably don't believe, but I am. Often my interviews. Uh, question answer to get the best out of the interview it's important to include the question and often it'll look weird or sound weird if you're just hearing a voice coming yeah so it makes it more personal i don't really want to get my head on tv james i mean like Mm. i I know what i look like and it's not great (laughs) i don't need i don't need to be a bigger (laughs) bloke magnet right i know my limitations i don't like doing what they call a piece to camera on the news because I don't like particularly – well, I don't – I feel weird. Uh, again, it's TV. You know where they, people stand up and talk mm. uh, in the middle of a story? I, I don't like doing it. And that's a reporter's way of um, uh, stamping themselves on a story. Well, my way is to shot interviews. And, and you don't mind and, that Hello Sport doing uh, it? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, I cop so much other crap. It's not, it's not even a – if they ever want me on their podcast to take the piss out of me, they're welcome to. <laughs> they're welcome to do that. All right. Okay, well, he's, okay. he's basically said he'll come on. He said he'll come on. That's and then he started following us. He did, which is good because he blocked us on Twitter. Yeah, so we he blocked thought, us on we Twitter. Thought it we might thought, be all over. We thought uh, blocking on Twitter may have been the death knell of us ever securing the great Danny Wides, Danny Dubs. I, but it would seem. Based on his comments, and I'm prepared to take him at his word. Fucking oath, same here. Now, I've you could be mistaken for thinking that Danny loves having himself in the shot, but he's shy. He's shy. Can I, this is how we, if we get him on, this is how we do it. We don't have the backdrop, and we have every single shot of us has him in the front of us. Like, just, just like, we're just half shot. And you put that video up? No, it's into like the whole interview, so the whole YouTube of us chatting with Danny. Oh, yes. Anytime it's on you or me, he's in the foreground. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. 100%. That'd be fucking hilarious. And it would be appropriate. Yes. Danny Two Shot. I'd love it. I hope he's, I hope he's down to come on. We'll work Do you, that Well, out. let's see if he's a man of his word. Because that he is... He started following us, mate. You can't say... But has he unblocked us on Twitter? Should we check that? He may have forgotten he even blocked us in fairness. But in, well, listen, I think... I see him following us on Instagram and agreeing to come on the podcast. That amounts to the breaking of bread, in my estimation. I think we're cool now. Same. I think we are. I think we're good. Oh, still blocked. He might have done that after a bad day at the office. Yeah, absolutely. Listen. And he's forgotten about it. You know, we're probably not that important to Danny. Maybe we are. I don't think we are. Again, if you're taking him at his word, he doesn't give a shit. Cannot follow. Okay. So let's get Danny on and let's break bread officially. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. I think it'd be very nice. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny. Um, did S- Squad, uh, test squad announced. Oh, yes. I sent it to Dave. Dave's getting it up. We can go through it, you and I. I'd love to go through it with you, Edward, if, that, if that's okay with you. The test championship, punters and dribblers, I believe June 9th. Day before I turn 34. Is that the date, Tom? I yep. believe it's June 9. I could be wrong. I believe June 9. I'm hearing, yeah, Hazelwood, uh, he's got a – that man is perpetually What's injured. going on with, with, with our boy Josh Hazelwood, boy. the country boy? What's going on? Because he hasn't – how much test cricket has he played in the last two years? Fuck all, mate. How, but legitimately, how much has he played? Nothing. I, um, I was reading something yesterday about uh, Michael Nessa – who has he scored a hundred over there recently before Steve Smith bowled him out That's quick. fucking throwing down offies. That's quick. And he's been taking he's been taking wickets as well with that Duke's ball. Whatever's on the screen is gone, David. Oh. Um but where you'd are have we? to think you'd have to Cummins, think- Bowling, Carey, Baggy Green, Little Marcus Harris, come on. Josh Hazelwood, Travis Head, Josh Inglis, Usman Kawaja, Manus Lavashane. Nath, Todd Murph, Smudge, Stark, who Dave never got on an interview, and Dave Warner. Me? Don't blame me. For oh, that. sorry, no, not Dave. No, no Todd. To you I have to think, Tom, that Scotty Boland would it, it, do pretty well with a Duke in the hand. But you're gonna have can't you're gonna have uh, Skip, Stark, 
And then what? You're going to have Boland, Hazelwood, or Nessa? Well, Hazelwood, I don't think he's playing. No, it. so we'll drop out. So Nessa or Scotty B. Nessa or Scotty B. With a with a goat just to. And I mean, see if through. Nessa can bat as well. If Nessa scored a hundred, he gets first first bite of the cherry. But yeah. I don't. But they give him Test champs. Like let's get him. Let's get because like the Test championships. Let's just do that first. Win that. Yeah. But if there was a wor- if you had, well, to pick I think your- it's, I think it's going to depend on the pitch. If you had to drop one thing, it'd be Test championship to win the Ashes, right? So like. Oh, the Test championships are care right when it comes to the Ashes. Let's yeah. be honest. Ashes is number one in world sport. Yeah. There, I said it. I think you're going to have to have a look at the pitch. See how the pitch is playing, Tom. Yeah. Eyeball the pitch. Make an assumption. I will say this. We've got a great record at Lords. I've said it before and I'll say it again. So India are in big trouble. We should do a we should do a one inning stream. Or like a one session stream. Not an innings session. For an ashes. For an ashes, yeah. yeah of course we will. It, no, it starts at it starts at like nine? Eight thirty nine. Uh well hang on. I think it starts at about seven. Oh, bro, I'm so Or maybe old. that's wrong. No, no, no. Maybe it starts at you seven can watch the early. you can watch the first two sessions before it gets late. Yeah, so it, it must start, start at seven. It starts at seven because yeah. it's oh. it's three thirty. You can watch the second until the, the second session is at twelve, and which is about where I run out of puff. The second session starts at twelve. It ends at twelve. So yeah, I don't. So we only want I rarely watch session. the third session. No, we just do one session. No, but I'm just saying about what I what I do. Yeah. Edward Simpson. What does yeah. Edward, Edward Simpson do when the Ashes is on? I watch two sessions. What does Edward Simpson do? I watch the first two sessions, and if, if there's a bit happening, I'll I'll try and dig in for the third for yeah. the nation. I'll yeah. try and dig in, dig in. Like if there's a test in the balance, I'm watching the third. Get session. through to T. We'll get through to stumps. Yeah, dig in till T. See if you can get to stumps. You've got to. You have to dig in till T. That's a that's a mandatory. But if you can if you can see it out to stumps, I, hats off to you. Yeah, credit to you. Yeah, I feel like you and I this year more than any other probably have an obligation to the punter and the dribbler and the nation to dig in to try deep. and to try and see that or stumps if there's something happening. Yes. Oh, if there's something happening, yeah, we do. We actually do. No, we really do. Maybe we sleep in a little bit during the ashes. We would have to. Well, I'm not going to be able to, but I'll sleep in a little bit. Listen, I'm not asking you to see it through to stumps every night. But, but if, if there's something, a te- happen- if there's a test in the in the balance, oh, in the balance. <laughs> Let picture a headingly yeah, run chase dude. situation. Yeah, 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 you yeah, got to yeah. see no, it. No, you out. see it out. You have to. You have to. You must. You must see it out. Yeah. That squad looks pretty good to me. Matty Renshaw omitted. Mitch Star. Uh, Mitch Marsh. Omitted. He's also injured. Who? Renshaw. Mitch Marsh. Mitch Marsh is. Yeah. Marsh and. Well, I read a statement saying unlucky. I'm pretty sure that I, I read so, something last night saying that Marsh and uh, Hazelwood both injured. But well, I, I mean, don't know why he'd say he's unlucky if he's maybe injured. he's unlucky to be injured. But I mean, hey, uh, Marsh isn't making the fucking sign, is he? But I thought he was a boy boyer. Yeah, no, he's in the squad. He's over there. Yeah, because no, what not. happened? They they he's put out the a, a seventeen man squad, but then they had to cut it down to fifteen people by like this date. So he was in the seventeen man squad, but when they had to cut it down, so to he's 15. not going to be touring for the Ashes. Uh, not, no, this is just for the world. This test is just test championship. championship. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's injured. Yeah, I think he's over there as part of the wise. He's over. Oh, there. so so fucking care, eh? What's yeah. The, what a weird article. Yeah. Woo up. If he's Woo. over there booing I'm, boy and boys, I'm pretty sure taking them for there. walks and stuff. Coffees and walks. Coffees and walks. I'm pretty sure he's over there. Yeah. Go to yeah, his I'm Instagram. Sure he is. is he over there? Yeah, he is over there. Okay, he was, good. Well, then he we was part of the worry. squad that went over. We need not worry. Well, I'm not worried now. I'm fucking not worried Because coffees and walks are covered. Now, obviously, we've been talking about it for a little while, that we are ambassadors for the Sydney Marathon this year. And... You, listen, I will say this. We were added before Ned Brockman, which says a little bit about Tom and I. And we are currently, for those that have joined, the biggest team in the marathon right now. We are humongous. And well, I, want, I want to keep that up. I want the number to be so biblical. It'll be the biggest team that I want to have. have our own wave. Yeah. You know how there's like wave one for the, for the Dude, pros? Dude, I want to have dribbler wave. the dribbler wave, the last wave. The how final many, wave. Yeah, the fo- I wonder how many people you need for a wave. Surely we're getting close. We've got big numbers, punters. And no, like huge. It's uh, going to be the greatest day of 
any young run, runner's life or yeah. old runner or middle-aged runner. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But this, if you're, if you never run a marathon, even if you've run one before, this is unmissable stuff. Yep. We have biblical numbers. Everyone dialed in. Lockie Clancy's going to pace Tobler. Well, he's committed this to is that. what I wanted to talk about. So just quickly, if you do want to join sydneymarathon.com, the team is the Goers Run Club. The pro, the code, the discount code is Dribbler. You get twenty percent off your sign up fee. Hello Sport Goers Run Club is the is the fucking team. Tobler of oh I fucking quit vaping. I'm taking it all seriously. His friends who I'd be you know he's got a rat in the camp. He's yeah, got a he mole. Does, yeah. Well, we've got a mole. We got a mole in there. Tobler fucking pounding darts all night on the yeah, weekend. Analogs, oh. real darts, yeah. real old school honest analogs. nicotine darts. Murdering them. I heard he Tobacco went through. I darts. heard he went through uh, a whole pack. Yeah, he went 20, through a pack. Well, Twenty stivo blues. Yeah, exactly. I miss him. Miss him a lot. Um, Soft packs. <laughs> miss him, dude. Before they put the generic cover on it as well. No, no, I'm talking old school. Pack. Blue and white. Stivo blue, yeah. soft pack, living, coffee, dude. living. I heard he panted that bad girl. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting ready for a marathon. Fucking then Clancy's like, I'll pace him. Yeah, dude. You're going to make Clancy come out there and try and pace you, Tobler, while you smoke darts in your preparation. You're not taking it seriously at all. I'm wondering whether we just get him his giant pants. Clancy's now. flying back early from Europe. Yeah, right. And you're out there smoking darts. I'll have to leave the mild bros at home. Mate, he had fucking two-minute noodles for breakfast. Oh, come <laughs> on. You're come not taking on. this seriously at all. He's not taking all. this shit seriously at all. He thinks it just because you and I, like Lazarus, who I think was like dead and rose from the dead, like managed to pull ourselves together. Not everyone's built like us. No, they're not. No, they're not. That's, that's pretty obvious. That's obvious to all in sundry. That not everyone's built like us. Like, it's not... You can't just roll in off the couch. Jo Jeff Athletic keeps trying to get in touch. He's not hearing back. Oh, right. You're yeah, fucking right. smoking yeah, 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 cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. It's getting borderline blasphemous at this Mate, point Mate, this now. is... It's fucking... This is blasphemous. No, well, listen. Do you deny the accusations? Did I had two-minute noodles did, for breakfast? Yes, absolutely. What were they doing did on your you? desk when I they're walked in? Lunch. <laughs> they're for lunch. Oh, they're for lunch. They're well, still that's in the good. Did, did, the you, did you or did you not pound a, a packet of smokes on the weekend? I... May have pounded three Marlboro Golds oh, that yeah. my friend got on the black Your market in the old in the non, uh, health packaging. Do you so, know, I'm just sending you. Uh, I'll send it to you. Got WhatsApp open over there, yeah, buddy? Yeah. I just want to know how much you just have a look the, at the um, photo of fucking. Oh shit! How much are you paying the private investigator to follow me around on weekends? We, put this in the listen, YouTube. Listen, we wouldn't fucking spend our hard earned on that. I can promise you that and, right and now. And if you zoom in on those we got eyes, a, we got a rat now problem. listen, I've got no issue. You've got a rat problem. I've got a rat. I've problem. got no issue with the man ripping and tearing on a weekend, right? Of course not. But there, how serious are you taking it? Look at his eyes. Zoom in on that. That's a shit faced individual. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. This is, this Look is at just those like eyes, the, dude. It's like the halftime report at Magic Round when everyone thought the. No, 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 we're not saying no, anything. We're not saying, we're not saying no, anything. We're, we're just, just saying, saying you're drunk. It was a dude. dark part of the brewery. We're just, that we were no, at. we're just saying you're full to the gills. You're and just that's full. Fine. You're not doing anything naughty other than the fact that you're not taking your marathon prep seriously. And I wouldn't, you're allowed to go get on the piss, but the darts, the darts you're are going to get you. Hey, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, do what you do. do, what, do, a you, do you do what you want to do. There's no obligation here. I'm just saying that you will be wearing the biggest pants that any man's ever worn. Yeah, that's all we're saying. That's not. That's not a. That's not an idle threat. Still got. Still. Still more than twelve weeks out. We're good. We're good. Well, we're good. We're good. We said really quickly then. Yeah. 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 Like, you don't think you're good. You're good. Look at that. Good. That's almost going to be a background for something. Listen. That's that's going to be. Can, uh, <laughs> we won't make it. I was going to say that would be the the. Uh, <laughs> The YouTube thumbnail? No. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could. But, but we won't. People won't get it. People won't get it. It's way too niche. It's way too niche. Um, listen, if you want to join the greatest marathon team of all time. It's the, in the hundreds. The goers. Yeah, even more than that. The goers run club. Well, it's it's in the 200s. Yes, it is. There's more than 200 dribblers that were signed up for this fucking thing. Yeah, and I want it to be 300. I, I want it to be as nice. many as we can possibly That'd be get. at least 300. Now, the Goers Run Club, sydneymarathon.com. The code is dribbler or dribblers? Dribbler. Dribbler to get 20% off. Uh, during the team section, you sign up to Hello Sport Goers Run Club. It's very simple. If you've already signed up and you want to come over to us, log into your portal and you can change team in there. Don't ask us how to do it because I've just explained it. And if you can't work it out, you can't be helped. No. You and can't it, be helped. It's still shocking that some people ask. How do you fucking do it? Why don't you fucking try and then get back to us when you've actually had a crack? Yeah. Now, 
if you, you will want- be you will be sent a uh, you will be sent a running program if you email turbo at hellosport.com.au. It's the one that got us through to the very end. But I want to just touch on that as well quickly with that running program. We did that in consultation with people that have done marathons before and who have trained before, and you do need to have a modicum of self-awareness as to what you're able to do and not do. If you're running a marathon, you're pretty fucking, you, you obviously have a high belief in what you're capable of. But I guess basically if the program's too hard for you, then well, you don't have, you, listen. Tough titties. We're not the, professional trainers. That's just what we did. It's the ultimate, it's, the, it's, it's basically the ideal training. Obviously we didn't do the whole program, I did very little of it, actually. Tom did basically none of it. Um, but it's what it, I tried to do. It, use it as a guide. Yeah. Listen to your body. Use it as a guide. It starts 12 weeks out, the program. So from between now and then, just try to get some cage in the legs, time on pins, as like you'd say. Yep. And see how you go. Now, we are getting shirts made as well. Hello Sport Goers Run Club. You will be, uh, they'll be picked up from our... Training. For we'll today. work that out close. There's a little to the bit day. of nitty gritty. That's it's close to the day. We got a lot of time. Now, what we're also going to be doing, uh, our friends at the running. There's a few sponsors who are on board. Some of them were in the middle of just working out exactly how they're going to be involved and how they're going to uh, help out. But the running room, they are offering fifty percent off of. Uh, the foot your first off consultation with anyone who's in the run club. Um, so you can go to them, get assessed. They can basically give you like, they're going to give you some tips and tricks on how to improve and how to like, you know, basically do the best you can do so that you run this marathon. More information around that will come this week. Um, but you have to be a part of the Goers Run Club if you are going to want any of that realised. So, I mean, I think that's sort of it in terms of the marathon stuff, isn't it, Eddie? I might, you know what I might go and do? I might even, run, I might go for a run today. I'm going for a run tonight with Benny Porter. Are oh, you really? Yep. Where are you running? Probably around Centennial, Anzo Parade. He wants to do some big Ks, just for see how we go. You're going to pump out some Ks? Yeah. How many, you reckon? Don't know, probably 15. You're going to push out 15? Maybe, yeah. Good for you. See how we go. Yeah. Did 12 the other day. When did you do that? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. Trail run. Yeah, trail run. Yeah, I'm thinking I might punch out 10. But I would, it needs to be a bit slow. I'm going to tell Benny, though. He's going to be briefed up. I want 5.30s no quicker than that. No. Absolutely not. 540s I'd even prefer. I think 540s is would be nice of 12. Yeah. Anyway, citymarathon.com, code dribbler, girls run club, sign up. Come join us. It's going to be fucking beautiful. And Tobler will be handing out packs of cigarettes before the race. In big pants. In huge pants. If he, if he doesn't get to race day, he's got to wear the huge pants. He'll get to race day. Yeah, surely. <laughs> All right. You got a rat got in the a camp, rat dude. Serious the rat beaches, infestation. Eh? Fucking rat. Serious rat. rat. Keep them coming. If you're listening, you know who you are. Keep them coming. Before we get to Gazy, I'm pretty sure I know what this package is that got delivered this morning. I know exactly what it is. I ordered this the other day for the four of us. We're all in it together. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. This and the reason I got this, and I've been doing it a bit recently. It's almost like a mum who's living at home and fucking is sitting in front of Danos Direct. You've got heaps of Danos about, dude. It. My uh, well, our algorithm because we're using the Hello Sport Instagram is getting pounded by ads for these fucking things. So I don't know why, but absolutely pounded. And I thought, fuck it, it'd be funny. Yeah, this is what I think it is. Jaws are size. <laughs> We're going to get hot. Dude, you see people jaws, like dude. chew this fucking thing. For, how do you get it? Oh, it's taped up. What's the point in having it if you're taping it up? It's hot point. jacked jaws. Yeah. Don't worry about that. If we can ever open them. So. Oh, has it come with a necklace? Yeah. That's dribbly as fuck. So what well, these so you are, wear it around your neck. You see these, yeah, I know. That's, That's a fire. So you see these, I'm not going to get in, I might boil it before I start using it. So what you go, well, like this. So these Where things, would you buy it? Where do you buy it in? The bit here where this bit is. Where? And, uh, yeah, like that. If you're not, if you're just listening and this is kind of not, 
So this you're meant to just jaws a size for five minutes a day and you're meant to get like ripped jaws. Now, obviously we've discussed the optical illusion double chin. Um, look at that though, dude. We've, we've obviously toyed with the idea of getting injectables in. We probably should have gotten for Jarch if we're being fair. But we're gonna we'll, we'll do some before and after. I must gag. I must gag reflex to that thing. Well, I think that's why maybe you put it on a necklace so that you don't swallow. Mate, I I tell you what, that guy. Look at that guy. That guy's jaws jacked to shit. Yeah, that first look guy. at that Holy guy. Holy fuck! That's not even the same person. Yeah, it doesn't. Look that's like not even it. the same bloke. That guy's look, got that guy's not <laughs> the same bloke either. Well, he just has a six pack in two different photos. I don't know what the jaw size. The jaws are size, dude. That chick at the end, I don't believe that either. I mean, listen. I None of these people are the same. I don't think... I, I think tell you what, the, but it's, look at the rest of his face. Though. It's not just jaw stuff. I think it also, like, makes you look younger. So... Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. I think you got to go a bit harder. But also, I think it's like your skin around your face, like your muscles in your face, generally. It promotes blood flow. Dumbest purchase of all time. Hands down, dumbest purchase of all time. Do you reckon you'll keep it up? Probably not. Do you reckon you'll do it for five minutes for a day? You're going to have to... I reckon you're going to have to wear it around your neck. Well, I don't... No, I think the necklace... Like a necklace. So you, no, the necklace thing, I think, so you don't swallow it and choke yourself and die. Because if that thing goes down, you can just There's pull no it way out. in the world. I think it is. No, I don't. I think it's around your neck. So you just pull it up, bang, and then you just keep going around your day. That's got nothing to do with fucking swallowing it. But if it went in, your, if you did swallow it, there's no way. Put it in your mouth. You wouldn't be able to swallow that. It's fucking huge. You can, you could swallow that. There are penises bigger than the circumference of that thing that have gone all the way down a throat. Not into a gut, though. Well, it might have clogged a throat, Edward. Choked a throat. Yeah, but you, you're just sliding down it as opposed to swallowing it. It's different. It's not the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. So we might do some before and after jaw photos. Now, it's going to be tough because I've got a beard, which I'm not shaving. But <laughs> You've got to shave it for the photos. Not Back to that. the skin. No. Nah. Why? Because it, it grows just, back quickly. Doesn't it actually grow back that quickly? Why do you shave it off for the photos? Because I don't want to. But it's for content. I don't give a fuck, quite frankly. You're not going to shave it off? No. Why? I just said I don't want to shave but it off. But why is that? I'm just, I'm, why though? Because I, I need an answer. look worse mm. without it. What do you look like? I look like a, I probably look like a, like a smooth pig. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a jaw? Oh no, kid's got a jaw, but the jaw not what it probably was. Jaw or not? Yeah. Kid's got a jaw. Go you've back got, and look at my. You've got a jaw. Yeah, yeah, I got a jaw. So why wouldn't you shave it off? Because I don't look good. Right. I look better with the facial hair, which I didn't realize until late in life. Well, when I could grow it, but like neither do you. You look fucking god awful shaved. No, I know, but I'd li I. You also don't have much of a jaw. No. Which is why. <laughs> I think, like, for anyone at home who's watching, this, no, we don't have great jaws. Like, know that. But know that we're about to have phenomenal jaws. I'm about to have the jaw you'd see on like a college football star. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a, or a New York catwalk model. Yep. Who's, Dude, you know what? We'll be on the who cover. swings of, both ways. Yeah, there'll be a new movie coming out called Jaws, but it's just you and I with fucking Rip Jaws. Yeah. And everyone will just lose their minds collectively. Yep. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Before we go, I want to see a video of Andrew Gaze. Gazy, what did Gazy do? Yep. I will right, get it up here. We got Gazy here talking on, I think, one of the AFL footy shows. Yep. Shout out to Gazy, one of the greats. One of the greats. Limits of what the human capacity is. Uh, having a competition to see who can take the biggest dick... Uh, biggest hit. <laughs> 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 Look at him wigging out. <laughs> 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 Who can take the biggest hit to the agate? <laughs> 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 do it again. Do it again. Let's <laughs> have a competition <laughs> to see who can take <laughs> the biggest <laughs> dick. Yes, Andrew. 
having a competition to see who can take the biggest dick. Uh, biggest dick. <laughs> 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 Love it. And you just know he's got a fresh pair of gazes, gazes on. on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The biggest pair of As gazes. he goes out to market trying to swallow the biggest hog. Good on you, Gazy. Good on you, son. Uh, and with that, goodbye. Could you two just not talk anymore? <laughs>